Time to play with some play. Well, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to record because quite honestly, I'm gonna be working in a position where I'm gonna be right in front of the camera. And so I'm just gonna turn off the cameras for now. I'm gonna be doing the uh, the uh, fingernails of this uh, left hand. And uh, I won't be able to show it because quite honestly, uh, the uh, video is just not gonna work out for me as far as being able to show it and uh, have it uh, so you can see what I'm doing. Unless, let's see, let me see if I can lift the camera up high. And uh, maybe that's what I can do, is just lift it up high. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna turn off the uh, GoPro 5 for now the uh, hero 5 because uh, quite honestly I don't think I would be able to use that one at all I don't know I'll just play it by ear position my camera is the best of I can but I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show because quite honestly the uh, angle is really tough to try to capture what I'm doing so, I'll just do the best I can with what I got. What I'm going to be doing today are the uh, fingernails. I used to have a tool that I could do that with, but I don't have it anymore, so... they trimmed their fingernails 2,000 years ago. Interesting. Thought? I don't know if you can hear it. I opened the window up because it's kind of nice outside. It's almost, and it's, it's up in the 50s today and uh, the birds are just making a lot of music because the sun's shining. I love it. It's a sign of spring coming. It's inevitable. I don't know if this works out good or not. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. There's a bunch of willows just across the field from my house here, and that's where they're all at.
Okay, I think I can put my clay back in its normal position for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the clay back upright. I'm still hitting my camera with my magnifier. Change angles and you can see where you've got to blend the clay a little bit. nice to work with the window open. All right, I'm back. Ugh. And again, my magnifiers keep hitting the cameras because there is no good way to, or easy way to set these up, but I worked reworked his thumb and worked on the uh, fingers quite a bit. I cut his thumb off to work on it and I thickened the thumb a little bit because it's not as thin as I had it. And I like the way it came out. I did his fingernail while I was, had it off. I just don't know how much you're going to be able to see as I work on it. But anyway. Well, I was going to start the second hand, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm just about burned out completely on this hand. And uh, so I think I'll pick this up uh, either tomorrow or Monday. I'm not certain. It depends on how I feel tomorrow. Um... I don't want to press it when I'm not, I'm trying to say, what am I trying to say? I'm just, uh, I don't want to be burned out when I get to it. Uh, maybe I'll work on something else for now. I've got to uh, fill in that thumb with this a little bit, but other than that, it's all, it's all good. And I'm happy with what, uh, I was able to accomplish on that. I think I'm gonna work on his forearm a little bit and uh, the clothing on this arm. Maybe that's what I'll do first. And uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do first. I'm really happy the way that hand turned out too. I think what I'm gonna do is put a little Ronsonol on it and uh, clean it up a little bit all right I'm gonna work on the arm a little bit I'm going to uh, do a, a little bit of the muscle structure underneath the arm now if I can find my maquette arm I'll be happy oh there it is Okay, I'm going to take off the shirt I got on it now. And I'm going to put a little bit of muscle on the arm. I more or less just sketched everything in and I need to make it a little bit better. I'll leave the sleeve, the end of the sleeve there, but uh, I'm going to redo his arm just a little bit. Yeah, I moved the, the arm a little bit and I don't want to do that. Okay. Hmm. You know what I need to do? Mm, don't like. 
like that. Put a little bundle. Yeah, that's better. What I'm trying to do is fill out that uh, scarf that would hang loose over the back of that, uh, or over the top of that uh, staff without overdoing it here. I want to try something. Yeah, that's better. I want to put some of that uh, fabric feel in the uh, scarf that's over that uh, staff. It looked awful weird. That's the reason why I decided to uh, work on that. I keep on hitting. Ah. Put the hat on backwards. And my bill and my hat ain't hitting the damn cameras. There we go. a rather rough rag and it leaves a nice pattern in the clay which I'm looking for Well, that's going to be it for today. I just, uh, it's getting time to put my video together. I'm happy the way the hand turned out. I've got the other hand to do, and I've got this one as a guide now for the other hand, so that'll be a lot easier than doing it for the first time. The, uh, Thumb on this hand turned out good. I just gotta anchor it a little bit better. I'll do that next week. I like uh, the feel of the uh, scarf on his head now. That uh, looks more natural being pushed in by the uh, staff as he puts it on his shoulder. I'll work on a sleeve next week and. Uh, some of the musculature under the, the sleeve. And I think that's going to be it for today. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'm going to call it quits here. And uh, I'm worn out. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.